heart went Okay, this time let's solve for the second question, which is tr which is solving for the equivalent resistance between terminal C and D. So, ito pa rin yung, yung um, circuit natin kanina. It's the same circuit. Yung humahanap lang tayo ng equivalent resistance on a different terminal. So, ibig sabihin, kung between C and D tayo, dito natin ikakabit yung ating ohmmeter. Okay, dito. Okay. So, kahit dito natin ikabit yung ating ohmmeter, mapapansin natin na may mga may mga parts na ng circuit na pwede tayong i-simplify in the same way na sinimplify natin sila kanina with terminals A and B. Ano? So, dito tayo naghahanap ng dito tayo naghahanap ng equivalent resistance. Bakit po natin ipaparallel ito agad? Kasi pwede na, 'di ba? At saka kahit iparallel mo naman 'to, nawala ba yung node C and D? 'Di ba? Hindi naman. Correct. So, okay lang yun. Basta na may nakita kayong parts na pwede nyo nang i-simplify, go na. Simplify na agad. Okay? So, one notable thing is, aside from these two resistors are already parallel, we can get their equivalent resistance already. Ganun pa rin. Yung branch mo between E, yung branch mo connected between E and G are series. So, pwede ulit nating isimplify yan. But, aside from that, yung ating resistor between A and C at saka yung resistor natin between B and D, based on the connection, di ba sabi natin, pag nagkabit ka ng ohmmeter, i-close circuit niya. I-close circuit niya yung network na meron tayo or circuit na meron tayo. So, pag nagkabit ka ng ohmmeter dito, magiging short, uh, magiging closed circuit yan. Pero, kapag may dumaloy na kuryente, hindi papasok yung kuryente sa junction na to, papunta doon, papunta dito sa resistor na talon nyo kung bakit, dahil siya ay open circuited. ba diba, sabi nga natin, if the line is open circuited, current will not flow through that line. So, ano nga sabi natin with my illustration using multi-sim? Kapag open yung branch, hindi na natin siya sinasali. ba diba, ito, wala nang dugtong, walang continuity, hindi siya, wala siyang kadugsong doon sa circuit. So, since... Nabuksan na yung circuit dito, mawawala na ng connection itong resistor na to dito sa rest of the circuit. And that goes the same for the resistor between B and D. Pag naglagay ka ng kuryente dito, hindi na siya magtutuloy-tuloy kasi open, wala na siyang wala nang pupuntahan yung current mo dito. So itong branch na to, itong nakalaylay kumbaga parang ano tawag natin diyan, labis, yung labis nating resistor diyan. Tatanggalin na natin ano. So, negligible na to. We'll remove that to our circuit. So, ano na lang magiging itsura? Ito na lang matitira ito. Ito, papunta dito. So, let's simplify that or redraw that. I will have terminal C. And a resistor 2 ohm. Papunta kay terminal D. Ito yun. Ito, sinimplify natin yan kanina. By parallel combination of 2, 2 ohm resistor. So, yun yung ating, ano nga ginawa natin dyan? 2 inverse plus 2 inverse, quantity inverse. Ang sagot natin dyan ay 1 ohm. Okay. Tapos, this is terminal E. Tapos, you still have E and F, di ba? May resistor tayo dun. That's 2 ohms. Between D and F, that's 2 ohms ulit. Then, we still have this resistor between E and D. Tapos, you have between F and G. F and G. Between E and G, itong diagonal na to. And then lastly, this series combination, the series combination of these two, two ohm resistors, na nakakabit between E and G. So, maglalagay tayo ng isa pang linya ulit between E and G. At itong resistor na to ay series combination ng 2 at 2. So, addition lang yun, ba? 2 plus 2 equal to 4 ohms. Ibig sabihin ito, 4 ohms siya. Okay. Remember, saan tayo nagkakabit? Or saan tayo nagsasolve ng ng uh, equivalent resistance dito po, di ba? So, kung gusto nyo, pwede ko yung maglagay dito ng ano, o oh, additional wire. So, ibig sabihin, papunta tayo doon. Punta tayo doon sa side na yun. So, if you're going to notice, wala pa ako dito ang pwedeng pakailaman, but ito, ito ulit, dito ulit tayo magsisimula. Ano, so you have a 2 ohm resistor here and a 4 ohm resistor here. I'm going to redraw that. Pwede kong kuhanan to ng parallel combination. Parallel silang dalawa. So, if I redraw that, ganun pa rin. I still have terminal C. Terminal D. Nilakihan ko na ng konti. You have 1 ohm resistor here. 1 ohm. This is terminal E. And then F. 
and then between D and F, and then between D and E. Mm. Tapos, F and G. And then, between E and G, yung dalawang resistor in parallel, pag-iisahin na lang natin yun. Tapos, ang solution natin sa dalawang yun is, inverse-inverse, di ba? Kasi parallel connected yun. So, eto ay 2 ohms, nakaparallel kay 4 ohms, so 4 inverse yun, quantity inverse. Ang sagot natin ay 4 over 3 ohms. Diba? O, check ulit. 2 inverse plus 4 inverse. Inverse yon 4 thirds ohms. So, we have 4 over 3 on this side. Okay, afterwards, what happen? What happens? So, yung 4 thirds ohms natin, ito yun, nakasiris na siya kay nakasiris naka na siya dito sa line na to, ba? Kasi wala nang another branch here. So, ibig sabihin, tuloy na yung branch na to. Makawala na, na ng node G dito. So, itong series combination na to, i-add lang natin yan. Correct? Remember, this resistor is 4 over 3 na. Tapos, ito ay 2 ohms according sa given. So, series yung dalawang yan. Kaya, pag niridraw natin, ganun pa din. You have CD CD Pare ay 1 ohm, ito si E, and then E to F, D to F, hmm. tapos ito, and then between E, G, F, di ba magiging isang linya na lang to, so nakakonect siya kay E and F, magkakaroon ng parallel resistor ngayon dito. So, etong si resistor na to, na nakaparallel kay E, F, ito yon yung series combination. So, itong series combination na to, combination niya ng 4 thirds ohms na resistor, tsaka itong 2 ohms na to. And that gives you 8, but, ah, sorry, 3 times to 6 plus 4, so 10 over 3 ohms. Okay? So, itong resistor na to, 10 over 3 ohms siya. Ngayon, itong 10 over 3 ohm resistor mo, as you can see, this branch will be parallel dito. So, ito ay 2 ohms. Ito ay 10 over 3. So, itong parallel combination na to, pwede ulit natin isimplify yan. So, i ko na naman ito. Terminal. Terminal C. 2 ohm resistor terminal D. 1 ohm. Diagonal. Between D and F. So, ito ay E. Ito yung 1 ohm natin. Ito yung F natin. As between E and F, magiging isa na lang yung resistor natin, diba? At itong nag-iisang resistor na to, saan siya galing? Galing siya sa parallel combination ng dalawa. So, magi inverse inverse tayo dito. 2 inverse. 2 inverse plus 10 over 3 inverse. Quantity inverse. That gives you type natin. 2 inverse plus ako na mag-inverse nito ha. 3 over 10 na siya ba? 3 over 10. Hmm. Yung sagot natin inverse. So, we have 5 over 4. And this is 5 over 4. Ohms. Okay. So, let's notice this resistor which is 5 over 4 ohms, it becomes series with this resistor, with this line. So, ibig sabihin yung node F mo dito, mawawala na siya ng size side. ba? Matatanggal na siya kasi wala naman ng ibang branch na nakakabit. So, magiging continuous na yung line na to Isang branch na lang siya. Itong series branch na to isi-simplify ulit natin. So, let me make some space here at the left side. Erase natin to. Okay, so ano mayayari? Ito pa din. Ito pa rin. So, you still have um, terminal C. Terminal D. Then, you have a resistor between C and E which is 1 ohm. And then, you have this resistor na nakaslant or diagonal. And then, itong resistor na to, itong dalawang to na nakasiris, nakakabit sila kay E at D. So, between E at D, magkakaroon ng additional line dito, ba? Yan. Ito ay galing sa pinagsamang series resistors, 5 fourths ohms, 5 over 4 ohms, saka, ito yung 5 over 4, saka ito which is 2 ohms according to the given. So, that's 4 times 2, 8 plus 5, 13 over 
4 ohms. Okay. Next is, itong 13 over 4 ohms mo, obviously, parallel na siya dito, diba? Dun sa resistor na naka-diagonal natin. So, since parallel na tong dalawang to, parallel, oh, pwede nang isimplify ulit using inverse-inverse. So, magiging isang resistor na lang yun. Let me erase this side na. Okay, redraw. You have a terminal C, and then you have D, and then you have 1 ohm connected to node E. Tapos, node E and D will have 1 resistor na lang. Tama? At itong isang resistor na to ay pinagsamang parallel combination ni, ito ay 2 ohms. So, magkaka 2 inverse ngayon tayo dito. Plus, itong kabila ay 13 over 4. So, 13 over 4 inverse. Quantity inverse. That gives us a new value. So, 2 inverse plus yung 13 over 4 ako na mag inverse nun. So, 4 over 13 equals, inverse natin yung sagot, we have 26 over 21 ohms. So let's write that down. 26 over 21 ohms. Okay, next. Ito yung may halagang part, ha? So, itong resistor na to, 26 over 21 ohms siya. Huwag nyo makakalimutan kung alin yung sinosolve natin. So, ang sinosolve natin dito, resistance across C and E. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yung ohmmeter mo. Huwag mong iibuin basta-basta tong side na to. So, lahat ang nasa labas ng branch na to, or nasa labas ng nodes na yan, ito yon itong side na to, yan ang una natin isisimplify. So, ano nakita natin? Si 26 over 21, ito yon naging series na siya kay dito sa side na to. Series na siya, ba So, itong dalawang to are considered series. Mawawala na si node D. Ito, mawawala na. Tapos, mapapalta na to ng isang resistor lang. Na yung resistor na yun, nakakabit across C and E. So, anong meron? Meron tayong terminal C, tsaka terminal E, na initially, meron niyang 1 ohm. Ito yon At may nakakabit pang isang linya sa kanya na isang resistor na lang ang ilalagay natin. Okay? So, itong, itong resistor na to, siya ay series combination ng 2 ohm. So, 2. Plus, itong resistor na to, which is 26 over 21. So, that would be 2 times 21, di ba? 2 times 21, that's 42. So, magkano yun? 68 over 21. Check na natin sa calculus. That's 26 over 21 plus 2. So, 68 over 21 ohms. At, maglagay tayo ng ano dito? Mag maglagay tayo ng probe. Ano bawa? Or, maglagay tayo ng connector dito. Dito natin ikakabit yung ating ohmmeter. So, andito si RCE. Ano nga? So, pag nagkabit ka dito, anong tira? You have two branches in parallel. Diba kasi may additional line ka dito eh. Parang may junction ka pa dito eh. Na pagkakabitan ng iyong ohmmeter. So, ibig sabihin, kung may junction dito, itong dalawang resistor na to, nakakabit ang dalawang sides nila on similar nodes. So, ibig sabihin, parallel tong dalawang to. So, to get RCE, that would be the parallel combination of these two resistors. So, yung RCE mo ngayon ay... 1 inverse, 1 pa rin yun. Plus, ito, inverse nung kabila. 68 over 21 inverse. Yung sagot natin, inverse. Kunin natin ang ating calculate to solve for that. That's 1 plus, inverse ko na to. That's 1 plus inverse nito. So, 21 over 68. Okay? And then, let's inverse our answer. And that's 68 over 89. That will be the resistance across terminal C and E. That is 68 over 89.